back our viewers welcome back to exodus 20 tv in our broadcast today we are going to bring to you preachings of, of god and i know the preachings will touch you and the preachings will definitely change you after hearing the preachings and you know as we start our, as we start our broadcast we always start with a word of prayer so that our heavenly father will take us through the, pro, the broadcast and he, he will help us to understand he will help you people to understand his word that will change your life as you know this is always our, our broadcast of changing people's lives and as you know that i know you have not re, for, you have not forgotten that you are heroes of changing lives Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you all. And let's start with a word of prayer so that we can listen to what God has for us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Heavenly Father, back to our broadcast, we come before thee this wonderful moment. We appreciate you. We appreciate you so much, my Heavenly Father, for giving us this opportunity for us to for us to talk together to our viewers and to teach them and to preach to them what you have for them in the mighty name of jesus christ my dear heavenly father i pray that you may intervene intervene in this broadcast so, so that your people will understand the message your people will understand these preachings in the mighty name of jesus christ so that it will change their lives and the devil will have no time and will no will have no chance of manipulating them any longer thank you my heavenly father for everything in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray and believe amen and amen and amen thank you so much my viewers thank you so much thank you so much just tell your friends to tune in to exodus 20 tv tell them to tune in to call to tell them to collect tell, tell them to connect to collect so that they may collect what God wants them to collect today so that it will help them in their lives and the devil will no longer manipulate them because they will have known the truth. And that is why we are being taught and we are being preached each and every other day new things that new 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 teachings and new preachings that will help us to know who we are and that will help us to to go forward to, to go forward in our levels of going forward to to the preachings and going forward to the Christianity duties. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. And in our in our topic today, in our preaching today, we are going to preach about activating open doors. Activating open doors. Because I know you people, you people of God, you've lost so much. You've lost so much because God or opens you a door and you don't know how to activate it and the door will again will again be closed and again you are, you are sent back to waiting while well, you are supposed to just enter in your door and your life changes immediately now today i've come to preach for you about the activating open doors open doors the doors that god has uh, has already opened for us they need to be activated so that we can enter in those doors and our life will never be the same again. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. And as I, as I start, as I start activating open doors, we are going to read, we are going to read Revelation 3. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. Let us read the Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 8 and listen to what god is telling us through his word here is the word i'm going to read it for you and if you don't understand you're going to read it for yourself after the broadcast and if you still don't understand you can inbox me and ask questions then i'll answer you i'll answer you correct correctly and you are going to understand because god wants you to understand his word so that the devil will we will not have any chance will not have any chance in your life to manipulate you but if you don't know the word if you don't know the word and you are right as a and you are right as a child of god the devil will always manipulate you and you will not inherit what you will not inherit 
the inheritance of your heavenly father because you don't know what you're supposed to do to inherit in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you so much thank you so much my viewers let me read let me read the verse as we start the as we start our preachings of today of activating open doors revelation chapter 3 verse 7 to 8 it says to the angel of the church in philadelphia right this is the message from the one who who is holy and true he has the key that belongs to david and when he opens a door no one can close it and when he closes it no one can open it then here god god goes on telling us that in verse 8 i know what you do i know what you have i know that you have a little power you have followed my teachings and have been faithful to me i have opened a door in front of you which no one can close i like the verse i like the verse because god is telling us that he has already opened a door for us and no one will shut so here we are supposed to be very happy because there is time for waiting there is time for waiting for the door to be open and now the door is open the, the door is wide open then we are, how are we supposed to enter in the to enter in that door if you don't know how you are supposed to enter in that door it can be closed again while you're standing on uh, while you're standing on on the outside waiting for it to be open so here we are being we are being told that we are supposed to be very careful and listen and follow me closely because I'm taking you somewhere so that you will know what to do when your door is already opened. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Add your friends to add your friends to collect to connect to collect so that God will bless them with this word and they are going to move forward. And they are going to move forward as Christians and they are going to be happy in their life. Then here we are being told that we, we are being told that doors are what is a door? The meaning of what is the meaning of a door? Doors are authorized systems of access. Authorized systems of access. Doors are access to opportunities, to enlargement, access to, and, and access to deliverance. Doors are of access to opportunities to enlargement and access to deliverance so you i know up to there you have understand the meaning of doors the meaning of doors that is the meaning of doors then here we are being told that from one level to another they there are doors from one level if you are going from this level to to another level there must be a door that you are going to enter to go to that other level because the doors are the ones that take us to another level and here again we are being told that it is doors that allow movement of people inside and outside doors are the one people use to come inside and go outside so here we are being told when doors are closed it causes limitations delays and brings frustrations i hope you are following me closely when doors are closed it, it it causes limitations delays and brings frustrations till there i know you have understood i'm going slowly by slowly i want you to to understand this one and to know how you are going to activate your door so that your blessing will not be closed or or be taken by by another person and again here down here as we go down here we are being told that it is so frustrating to stand on a door it is so frustrating to stand on a closed door yes you know that it is very very frustrating when you're standing on a door and knocking and knocking and knocking and no one is not and no one is is not opening for you that one you know is very very frustrating when you go somewhere even in your house if you go knocking and no one is opening for you you become very frustrated when you're standing on that door that is what i mean it is so frustrating 
to stand on a closed door. Now, between the next phase of your life, here is between the next phase of your life to another, there is a door. Between the next phase of your life, that that one is almost like be, between the next between your level and the next level of your life. There is a door. So we are seeing here that doors are the ones which are, are being used for us to come in and to go out. To come in and to go out to another level. That is what I've, uh, that is what we are being told here. That doors are the ones that are being used. But when the doors that are being used are closed, we become very frustrated. And we, 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 we become very frustrated. And there are delays, there are limitations. And we become very, very frustrated because of the closed doors. Now here we are being told that, how do you know? We are being told that, how do you know if you need an open door? I hope you are following me closely. I hope you are following me closely and, and listening to me attentively. Because this one is a very, very, is very, very important. These preachings are very, very important to you. And because me, I know them and you, you don't know them. I, I'll urge you to listen to me carefully because God wants you to know your rights and to know the purpose of the doors and to know how to activate them and to know when you need a door. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much because without knowing, there's nothing, in, there's nothing much you're going to know because we are being told that if we know something, if, if we, we identify something, we conquer. If we, ident we, we identify that we need a door, we are going to conquer. If you don't identify that you, don't, you need a door, you are not going to conquer. You will always stay there when your door is, is open and you are not going to enter it because you don't know how to enter it. Now here is why we are being told that, how do you know if you need an open door? And I'm going to let you know, I'm going to preach for you and let you know when you need an open door. One, when all roads in your life are blocked, you need a door. When all roads in your life are blocked, you need a door. That is number one. Number two, when all good roads, when all good roads are closed, in, in, in a close, you need an activation of your doors. When all good roads are, are closed, you need an activation of your doors. Number three, when, you, when the enemy or adversaries has written you off, when the enemies or your adversaries has written you off, you need a door. You need an open door. Number four, when your enemies have evil expectations concerning your life and the situation around you. You also need an open door. That is number four. That is number four. You need to know these things so that you understand it very well, so that your, your door will never be shut when you're standing there instead of you entering in the door and your life will never be the same again. Of course, you know, when, you are, when an open door is open, and you enter in that open door, your life becomes, your, your life becomes, a, a, your, your life is changed and you're not going to be the same again because doors, they are open for us to, to take us to the next level of life, not from where we were to, to, the, to a higher level of life. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here again, we are being told that the doors that God has opened, will shut we will, will shut out your adversaries the doors that god has opened for us it will shut off your adversaries our enemies are going to be shut off by the doors that god has opened to us because you know when you're waiting for a door to be opened there are so many things that that happen around you your enemies will laugh at you people will will talk about you People will see, we will laugh about you. People will see you as nothing. You will have a lot of enemies. People, people will go 
people will, will run away from you you know that you people of God you understand when you're waiting for an open door to open you know what you go around it's like you are in it's like you are in wilderness you are in wilderness and nothing is happening nothing is happening and nothing is moving on then here God is telling us that he will shut he will shut with the with the open doors that he has already opened for us today he will shut our enemies, our adversaries. He will shut them with the doors that he has already opened for us. At least the time for people, at least the time for people to laugh at us has come to an end. Now here again we are being told, how do you know if you need an activation of your open door? Now the door is already open. And we are, I've taught you, I've preached to you, how i've preached to you how you need how you need to know if you need an open door and now here we are being told that how do you know we are being told that how do we know if we need an activation of our open doors if you don't know again is a problem now you should be knowing these things and i'm preaching to you today i want you to know these things so that you can be free from manipulations of the devil and again you can move on in your life smoothly to the next level of your life how do you know if you need an activation of your open doors when experiencing closed when you are experiencing closed heavens now here we are being told how do you know if you need an activation of your open doors when you are experiencing closed heavens number one when your life is stagnant but you want to arise and shine when your life is stagnant and you want to arise and shine but you, you are not able you don't know how you are going to do to go about it that is when you need an activation on of or an activation of your open door the door is already open for you but you don't know how to activate it because of the closed heavens now here we are being told that when you see that your life is stagnant and you want to arise and shine and you are unable, you need an activation of your open door. Number two, when you are abandoned, when you are abandoned by friends, families, I mean everybody. Everybody has gone has gone apart from you. Everybody does not want to see you. Friends and families have abandoned you. Here you know that you have to activate, you need to activate on your open door. That is how we are being taught, we are being preached and taught when we know, when we see uh, that we have been abandoned by friends and families and everybody, we know that we need our, our open door to be activated. When you cannot point, number three, when you cannot point to the things you have achieved of labor and labor. When you cannot point to the things you have achieved of labor and labor. This one means that when you cannot point that when you are working or when you were working, this is what I did, this and this and that is what I did. That is what I mean when you cannot point whatever you did when you are you are working or when you are working. This means that you need an activation of your open door. Okay, here again we are going down here and say number four. Number four, when you, you, you always have demonic dreams. And before we go to number four, because number four is a little bit long, Number four is a little bit long. I just want you to keep in mind that things don't work because you are working, but because God is working. Keep in mind that things does not work because you people are working. You can work and things don't work out. Even now, sometimes, even now, sometimes back, we used to work and things did not work out for us because we thought that because we had a mind of thinking that well, because we are working, things are supposed to work for us. But we were wrong until we knew that things don't work because you are working, because we were working. But things work because God is working.
because God is in control. That is why things are working. Not because we are working. You can work and work and work and work until work does not help you. Until work, uh, until you don't see the, the fruits of your labor. Or the fruits of your labor. But now here we are being told that it's not who is not us who are working, but it's God who is working in us. That is where we can see the fruits of our labor. If God is not working in us, we cannot see the fruits of our labor because we cannot do without our God. We cannot do alone. So we need God even in our work, even in whatever we do, so that we can see, so that He can work. He can, he can work, he can intervene in whatever we are working about and he can help us to work and achieve what we we want and achieve the fruits of our work. But if not so, if we work, we work without our God, we are not going to achieve whatever we are looking for and it, is, it will be very, very frustrating and we are going to, to blame God for everything and yet is us who, who don't have the knowledge and who has not understood what, how God works in us. Thank you so much my viewers, thank you so much, I thank you so much. I know you are still there tuned in to Exodus 20 TV in our broadcast, in our broadcast of singles. Thank you so much, thank you so much my viewers. Just, just connect to collect wherever you are. Talk to your friends to tune in and so that they are going to listen to this powerful word that will definitely change their lives into their change their lives into better lives and will take them farthest thank you so much my viewers thank you so much now we are in number four number four of how do how do we know if we need an activation of our open door number four when you always have demonic dreams when you people always have demonic dreams that one you know that that one immediately when you have a demonic dream immediately you understand and you know that you need an activation of your open door you need an activation of your open door and what to do so that it may it will be open thank you so much thank you so much my viewers thank you so much and again when you are dreaming when you are dreaming doing odd jobs when you are, you are dreaming doing odd jobs that one is a sign that one is a sign of struggle that one is a sign of hardship covenant a struggle and a hardship covenant when you dream of doing odd jobs then you know you need an open you, you need to activate your open door and again here we are being told that when you know that when you're dreaming wearing tattered clothes that is a sign of setback when you are dreaming, wearing tattered clothes, this is under number four. Under number four of how do we know that we need an activation of an open door. And under number four, this is all under number four. When you dream, when you always dream, when you always have demonic nightmares. And under, under demonic nightmares, that is number one, I've told you, dreaming doing odd jobs dreaming doing odd jobs that is a that is that is the meaning of hardship covenant a sign of struggle in life then again number two we are being told that when you dream wearing tattered clothes that is a sign of setback that is a sign of going back to the village and is a sign a sign of going backward backward so when you dream about wearing these ones you know that you need an, open, an activation of an open door. And you know what to do about it. You can go to your pastor, wherever you are. You can go to your pastor and to, to your spiritual mother or father and discuss with him or her. And he will definitely guide you and tell you what to do for that purpose. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, wherever you are. Follow me closely because I'm taking you somewhere and and listen to me attentively because this one will help you in your life and you're not going to be the same again. Then here we have number three, dreaming of people, dreaming, 
dreaming of people questioning you why are you progressing and advancing dreaming of people questioning you why are you advancing and and progressing that one when you dream of that you definitely know that you need an activation of your open door and right there if you don't know what to do you run to your spiritual mother your, your spiritual father or pastor and share with him or her and she or he will we will tell you what to do if you are going to plant a seed or if you are going to to remove a sacrifice for that purpose he or she will we will, will direct you according to how god will have directed him or her to because of your matter thank you so much my viewers thank you so much thank you so much that is why we are being told always we need a we need a spiritual mother or father we cannot stay alone we need somebody who is very strong who is stronger than us who is somewhere and holds who is somewhere and stands in the gap between us and god we need a prophet we need a we need a spiritual father we need a spiritual mother wherever you are you cannot make it alone you need a spiritual mother a spiritual father and of course they are going to stand in the gap between you and god and the life will, will, will move smoothly but without those people then your life is going to be very very difficult you see even the people of the world they have the people who are standing on the gap for them they have the witch, the, the the sorcerers the the witchcraft men they they go to them they stand in the gap for them and they advise them what to do in order to prosper even us we need we need a we need we need somebody who is going to advise us on how to what to do and how to go about it and how to prosper thank you so much thank you so much my viewers without that one we cannot go anywhere and we cannot prosper then here again it is number five number five when you, you are being when you are dreaming about rewriting exam when you're dreaming about rewriting exam know that you need an activation of your open so when you are you, you are dreaming when you dream about rewriting an exam rewriting an exam you know that you need an activation of your open door so don't sit back and hold your hands and hold your cheek like this what you are going to do just run to your pastor your spiritual mother or father and they are, they, are, they are definitely going to advise you to the next step according to how God is going to help them and how God is going to talk to them about your situation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Here again, we are being told that when dreaming in the sea, when dreaming in the sea, drowning. That one again, you know, when dreaming, you are in the sea, drowning. That one again, you are going to understand that you need an activation of your open door. And again, here we are being told this is number six. When you dream that you are handicapped, when you dream that you are handicapped, also you need an activation of your open door. Number seven, when you dream and seeing yourself borrowing and begging, when you dream and seeing yourself of borrowing and begging, that one definitely know that you need an activation of your door of your open door wherever you are. act quickly so that it will not it will not act on you you know when when we dream is that god is that god wants to tell us whatever is coming forth and he, he is warning us before and he's uh, he's telling us before that thing is is has happened so that we might cancel whatever is coming to happen to us be it bad or good if it is good we open and if it is it is bad we cancel it by the power of the blood of jesus of jesus christ then here we are being told number seven when you dream when you you dream climbing mountain but you never see yourself at the top when you dream climbing mountain but you never see yourself at the top know that you need an activation of an open door when you dream that dream immediately know what to do and act on it so that it will not happen it will not come to pass to you 
thank you so much thank you so much my viewers we are still moving on then again here when you dream of falling from the mountain top when you when you dream of falling from the mountain top to down that one again you know you need an activation of your door because you know falling from the mountain you cannot climb a mountain you climb a mountain you know that one is the next level and you are at the top then you fall that one you know uh, definitely you know that you you have gone backward and you need you are you are, you are not you need a door that is going you need an open door that is going to be activated for you to enter and your life will never be the same again and you are going to progress thank you so much my viewers thank you so much thank you so much here again we are being told that when you dream in the filthy places when you dream that you are in the filthy places that one direct you understand that you need an activation of your open door wherever you are here is when you dream that you are caged you know when you dream that you are caged is like is is when you dream that you are caged you are caged by the devil you cannot move you cannot go anywhere you are caged and that is when we say that you need an open you, your open door is, is is supposed to be activated by is that supposed to be activated by somebody who is powerful more than you and that is why i'm saying a spiritual mother a spiritual father or your pastor you go and share with them immediately so that nothing wrong will happen to you and the dreams are not going to come to be true and the dreams are not going to come to be true so that they are going to affect your life thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much my, my viewers thank you so much pray for every good dream to manifest you viewers i'm, I'm saying that you pray for every good dream to manifest and for every negative dream that you have dreamt and people have dreamt for you and your family you cancel it by the power of the blood of jesus christ whenever you see that dream whenever you dream that dream don't don't hold your hands or, or hold your, your cheek what to do you're supposed to wake up and cancel it by the power of the blood of jesus christ and you're going to win and it is not going to have an effect in your life and when you dream a good dream you are going to to pray that it will manifest you are going to pray that it will, the door is going to open and manifest because it is a good dream because we don't want bad dreams then here we are we are being told that De you declare after all that after praying and counseling and opening the manifest of a good dream and counseling the, the negative dream you pray now here you, you declare to yourself after praying after praying you declare to yourself and after this you declare to yourself that after this broadcast you will walk in riches Okay, after this broadcast, you will walk in riches and total recovery and tangible testimonies in Jesus' name. After this broadcast, you, you, you declare to yourself that you will walk in riches and total recovery of whatever you lost. Total recovery means everything you lost, everything, whatever. I don't know what you lost. Everything that you lost, it is total recovery and have tangible testimonies in jesus name so it's good to know yourself and that is why we are being taught every other day and preached every other day about different things in life so that we will know ourselves and so that we are going to be powerful christians wherever we, we go and wherever we are and the devil is not going to shake us because we have been taught we have been taught how to live as christians and how to go about some things be it good or bad then again here i'm saying that you are supposed to you are supposed to cancel the spirit of negative dreams you cancel when whenever you dream a negative dream you are supposed to cancel you cancel the dream cancel the dream and silence whatever has been stealing your joy cancel the dream by the power of the blood of jesus christ and 
the whatever and uh, science whatever has been stealing your joy wherever you are whatever stole your joy you know whatever stole your joy you know what the devil stole from you you know everything and you know everything you know yourself better wherever you are you silence everything that has been bringing that has been bringing sorrow in your life and that has stole your joy you cancel and silence it by the power of the blood of jesus christ and you move forward to the next level then again here we are being told that uh, we are being told that where where we suffered most is where we are going to shine the brightest god is telling us that where we suffered most is where we are going to shine the brightest so keep in mind that wherever you wherever wherever and wherever you suffered most you know where you suffered most that is where that is the area that you are going to to shine the the brightest just keep it in mind and don't be forgetful you people don't be forgetful so that you may you may walk in the light of god because the devil always wants you to walk in, in his darkness so that he will he will hinder you to enter into your open doors so here no no more there are no more hindrances no more limitations no more oppressions no more delays thank you so much my viewers thank you so much thank you so much here we are being told that everything that you have lost will be double for your trouble keep also that one in mind that everything that you lost will be double for your trouble and may god meet you at the point of your expectations i pray that god may meet you at the point of your expectations because i love you people and i want you to know the truth and i want god to bless you but until you know you are god until you know you are god you are not going to be blessed because the devil always will hinder your blessings without you knowing but when you know you are god and you know how the devil hinders your blessings he will no longer hinder your blessing or oppress you or delay your blessings thank you so much my viewers thank you so much thank you so much and that is why here the bible the bible the bible goes on telling us that weeping may endure weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning i know you people you know that everybody knows that weeping always may endure for a night but in the morning joy comes thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much my viewers i thank you so much because at least you have known what you, you did not know and at least you are going to move forward because when you put in practice this preaching you are definitely going to move forward to the next level because now you know how to move and you know how to how and you know when you need an activation of a of an open door and you know when you need a door thank you so much my viewers thank you so much i thank you so much and i love you so much and that is why i would want you to know you are god so that you so that so that you, your life will not have limitations and so that you will do exploits because we are being told that those who knows their god will always do their will always do exploitations Ex we always do uh, exploits we we'll always do exploits so if you know you are god you're going to do a lot of exploits but if you don't know you are god the devil is going to exploit you instead so it's good to know you are god whenever you are you are being taught of anything keep it in mind just take the word properly if, whenever you don't understand let us let us talk together let us answer and questions and question ourselves question me wherever you don't understand because i want you to understand the word so that you will not be left out in anything and you will not be left out in the next level and in, you will not be left out in your blessings and the devil will never will, will, will not take a ride for you will not arrive will not take a ride to you thank you so much my viewers thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much because every other day god is teaching us about something new and every other day at least we are going we, we are growing spiritually by the word of god by the teachings and the preachings 
we are growing spiritually because without the word without the teachings and without the preachings we can never grow spiritually and that is why we need a lot of teachings we need a lot of preachings even us we even like me even me there's somewhere that i've not reached but i need to reach there through i need to reach there spiritually through my my through through the teachings and the preachings of my my spiritual mother the ones, the, the one who, who who teaches me and the one who stands in the gap between me and my heavenly father because we need somebody to stand in the gap for us, a, a powerful person, because we cannot do alone. We cannot go where, anywhere alone. We need somebody in our gap. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thank you so much and I thank you so much and I pray that God will meet you at the point of your expectations and that you will meet people, you will meet influential men and women of God that has, have been sent to you by God to activate your open doors for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you have understood the word and I, I, I just want you, if you have a question, you can ask me before I, before I go out of the studio. You can ask me, I'll, I'm going to answer your questions and we are going to, to be together and we are going to heaven together and we are going to the next level together because it's not my wish, it's not my happiness to see you being left there when I'm going up to the next level. We hold hands together because this one is a broadcast of holding hands together to the top. So when we hold hands together, we go to the top together because no one will want to see you there and I know what is what is disturbing you or what is eating you. I know what is eating you spiritually and I'm just there. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much as I'm winding up. As I'm winding up this broadcast, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you people for listening to me and for being there for, for, for being there for us in this broadcast. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your you are everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your for your donations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I urge you people to continue standing with us because you know it is it is expensive to spread the word of God. And when we you, you when you stand on the gap and when you stand on the gap with us and you you help us, you support us. It's good that we will spread the word of God and you are going also to be blessed because you will be part of spreading the word because you you cannot come and spread the word we will spread the word together you can support us and the, the support line is in the is in the you can see the sub support line is in the screen 0712 the number on the screen 0727884088 Thank you so much. Thank you so much for those who have forgotten my names. My names are Lois Nyambura Karanja, Councillor Lois Nyambura Karanja. And also, I've always asked you, if you want counseling, if you want to be counseled, if you want a private one or a, uh, or a public one, just call me on my number 0712-231629 and we are going to meet and know if you are, I'm going to do it in my office or wherever you want us to go and do it together. Thank you so much. Don't stay with your problem because your, your problem will kill you. Your problem will oppress you. Your problem will depress you. Thank you so much, my viewers. Thank you so much. And as I wind up, know that for us and our children, we are a sign and wonder. For you people, for us, all of us and our children, we are a sign of and wonder that is what god is telling us we are our sign and wonder know that we are a sign and wonder and we are we are made we are beautifully made by our god so don't stay there don't say that there and say that god has forsaken you no it's us people who forsake god god will never forsake us and he will never forsake us and he say even he said in his word he will never forsake us it's us people who forsake our god and that is why we are being told that we arise and shine and 
we preach gospel around the world and the people of God are uh, the people of God are going to listen to the gospel and they are going to move forward and they are going to know their God wherever they have not known their God. Thank you so much my viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you have a uh, a question you will for you for the viewers my god my father thank you because you will help them to understand the word thank you because you are god who changes not and thank you because you wanted you wanted them to hear the preachings of today so that the devil will no longer manipulate them in their open doors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, my God, my Father. Let them understand, let them help them to understand this word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.